Okay, Millie, what I'd like you to do now is describe two different sports development initiatives, give examples of su uh, successful sports development initiatives and critically compare a range of uh, successful sports development initiatives. Okay, good luck. So one of them is London 2012 Olympic and Paralympic Games. So its aim and purpose is to get all the countries together. Um, it's very traditional um, and it does have a legacy. As, it, as we know, it comes from Athens. Um, it's really good to help inspire people because the scale is massive. Um, so it's very high profile because countries all over the world gather together. It's on telly and um, you can get tickets to watch it, especially when it was in London. It was good for the UK because it gave everyone an opportunity to go and actually see it for real. Um, the funding that it uses is UK Sport, um, which is, um, I think, so that's the public funds and like the, natu the national lottery and tax and things like that. Um, and then it is, like I said, successful. Um, another one is school games. So its aim and purpose is to encourage young children and adults um, to participate in sport. So it's more about having a healthy lifestyle. It's not about whether you're good at it or not. Um, the scale is across all different schools. So it's really, it's only a small scale. It's only really national, regional and local. Um, it's not as world, it's not worldwide like the um, Olympics is. So the funding for this is more from the government rather than the public. Um, and different councils will distribute the money to the different schools. Um, it is very effective because it does get people involved. Um, but again, it's just the same sports being played with that. There is more um, a variety of sports in the Olympics compared to school games. School games is just really like football and netball and running. Um, so like for young people, it's hard for them to find the niche because they've not really tried everything with school games. Um, but then again, it's really hard to get involved in the Olympics because it is representing the country. It's um, harder to get involved with that. Um, so with the school games, there's not as many people maybe involved and it also doesn't help as many people really as the Olympics when again the Olympics um, is quite difficult to get into. So you mentioned all your development initiatives. Let's go back to one of the slides. Were you talking? What did you say in that that fourth slide there? I didn't really say anything about the fourth one. Can you can you just just tell us a little bit about the initiatives you've got in there? Yeah. Please. So the Sport England which is the one that helps the Olympics. So they're £100 million national lottery investment. Um, so they help for training courses for coaches and leaders, carers, parents, all people like that, that will just help to develop the skills and confidence to involve people in sport. Um, so it is a massive investment because it, it helps to get everyone involved, whether they've got a disability or they're good at football or it just helps just to get everyone on the same level and at a high level of training. And then there's UK Sport. So they've done quite a lot of different initiatives, especially women's equality. Um, whether it's to become an athlete or a coach or just an administrator for a club, they've really pushed that women are equal. So these initiatives have been really successful. Um, with more women getting involved with different kinds of sports, especially football, it's more known now that women are into football more. Um, and there's also been a massive increase in women leaders. Um, there's been a 30% representation now of women who are coaches and on sports boards and committees. And another initiative is Life Leisure. So this is giving different people the opportunities locally in communities um, to get involved with sport because there's venues all over um, and different sports centres so um, that's really helping to encourage like, local residents of different areas to get involved with sessions there's all sorts going on at these um, it's really welcoming, welcoming and it's a fun environment so generally a lot of people get involved Brilliant, thanks Billy